Hello, children. Pleasure. Absolutely pleasure. Listen. Get this out of my ear. Right, listen. Uh, we're starting to do reaction videos for our content distribution. So we're, we're, we're making we're making stuff, we're making content, uh, and we're doing reaction videos. And so what usually happens at the end of the day is that I do something called ceremony. Ceremony is a collection of information that I provide and I put together about three months at a time. I teach a class every Friday night in regards to all forms of aspects. This season, we're actually talking about the female, male, uh, and male dynamic and the family structure, right? It used to take a village to raise a child. Now it takes a city to raise a human, right? So we're, we're, we're diving into that type of information. But however, everyone's talking about AI and I think it's fascinating, right? So of course, my demonstration within ceremony and within and, and conversations is how can we use or enhance ourselves with the properties of AI without indulging human natures in order to destroy our own breaking of a society, right? Like how would we do this, right? And one way of doing this, I believe in my personal uh, uh, conundrum of philosophy is using AI to help us add more value to the possible creation that human beings already have. Right? So there's a video we're going to watch. I'm going to react to, right? I haven't seen it yet, um, but uh, it's a whole concept about this idea. And uh, we're going to watch it together. And I'm going to take some notes, write some things down, and we'll talk about it. That was a pretty big ask, even for some of the better publicly available image generators. Unfortunately, yeah, none of them were quite perfect, but as you'll see further into the video, it really did make a very bold That's attempt. Good. Now, everything you've seen on the screen right here has been created by an artificial intelligence called what? Midjourney. Midjourney is an invite-only AI image generator that currently runs through Discord. What? Interesting. A picture generator that runs through Discord. Listen, I have a Discord community. This is a perfect opportunity. If you guys want to join our Discord community, it's absolutely free to join. You guys can come hang out with us. But a skill, um, a service, an AI like this one, this one here, this one, that generates pictures, it's, it's, that's genius. Why haven't I thought about this? Because I'm not a programmer. That's amazing. That's, I want to. I want to get into it now. 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 I'm, now. I'm, now. I'm invested. I'm invested. I'm here. I'm here. Midjourney works by accepting the text input and then attempting to visualize that text. It's also worth keeping in mind that Midjourney is very much focused on creating art rather than anything photo real. I see. Now, if you're lucky enough to get an invite, you'll get about 20 image generations for your particular use, and that will uh, pretty much expire your trial basis. After that, there is a subscription here. Uh, oh, that is $10 a month for 200 images or $30 a month for unlimited images. Now, as with all of these AI image generators out there, you may have seen the Dali or even tried Dali Mini. I love they are this. always perfect. And that's because the AI doesn't seem to understand the language it. in wow. the same way we do. Look it means that doing. things can get a little bit tricky when considering which text inputs to use. But this really is something that comes with experimentation, time, and familiarity. To see how effective Midjourney is though, a quick look through Discord, and we can quickly see the types of images that people are creating right now. So in my opinion, some really fantastic results here. So, those are spaceships. It turns out that spaceships are a subject that every AI image generator I used seem to struggle with. It's likely that all of this is because the AIs rely upon public sources to build context. Unsurprisingly, there isn't a whole lot of context out there on exactly what a spaceship should be and what it shouldn't be. But even with that in mind, it turns out that it's very important to give Midjourney as much information for reference as possible. So, looking at the image from the thumbnail, this is a futuristic concept spaceship in a hangar. Now this is an image I especially liked. There's quite a few recognizable elements in here. The fuselage and the canopy of the front particularly stand out to me. I really like the lighting here as well. Wow. So how do we use Midjourney? Well, it's relatively straightforward. As I say, it's it currently amazing. works through Discord. Wow. Once logged in, you simply type in your text prompt. So here, we want a spaceship flying in the sky in the style of Metrovania art, Symphony of, Symphony of the Night, as well as Breath of the Wild. We want an aspect ratio. Amazing of 16 by 9. So we can see that this is... Listen, at the end of the day, you guys got to understand that we enhance ourselves as human capabilities in order to do something that's far superior than anything that we could do with our own conception, right? 
AR artificial intelligence, I think, has to be have uh, have a practical use in order to enhance human beings' already known creativity. Right? Our creativity is so dormant within our consciousness through the collective masses that we don't know how to even use it properly. Right? And that's the that's the whole reality. Right? Be, when we're surrounded by all things that are similar in design, similar in approach, uh, we lack the mediocrity. We lack the ingenuity in order to do things outside of the box that we're normally not used to doing with a skill and tool like this where it takes little or nothing to learn how to input a couple words to help brainstorm an idea or creative idea towards you i think is a fundamental it's it's that's amazing this this literally we're talking about artist block we're talking about writer's block you know all these things that you when you're an artist um you you constantly are, are surfing the web on deviant art or on uh pinterest you know to look at ideas and poses and all these other things and here you are with something like this, where you're just putting whatever you feel in the mood to draw, and it's generating ideas that you can easily take in order to reference from. Amazing. Amazing. I know people who love coloring. This is a great uh, coloring tool, right? Uh, blues and greens and yellows on, uh, on a dragon through the mountains, cruising through the back of the forest. Can you imagine what AI would, would entail that? That's beautiful. That's absolutely amazing. Come on. Like, that's that's... That's amazing. This is amazing. I, I love I love the application. Is a shared channel. There's other people. And then the fact of the matter that it is, it does come from Discord, right? We're able to use Discord. I'm a big Discord user with my community, and this is be something amazing to to give my people. People also creating images within this same area, but we're going to focus on our one right here. So currently, a 26% generated takes a little while to figure it out. It's going to give us four different options. So I'm going to speed that up a little bit here just to make things a little bit quicker. And there we go, wow. nearly done. So once this is generated, we've got four separate images and we can choose to either upscale these or create further variations. The further variations is a great way to get improved iterations upon a particular design if you happen to like that one. We're going to upscale two of these, this one here, as well as variation number four. Again, I'm going to quickly speed that up and here we go with the final result. Again, as I mentioned previously, these images do tend to be very artistic, but that is the intent of Midjourney. So yeah, this is very much in keeping with the request. Amazing. A spaceship in the style of Castlevania and Zelda. Amazing. Alternatively, anything Ooh. reflecting Warhammer-style art was suitably, well, Warhammer-y. These ones in particular, I felt were especially grimdark. Ultimately then, adding further context to text prompts is what really helped out a lot. This could be describing the environment in detail or naming a particular artist that should be used as inspiration. In the end then, Midjourney was able to generate some pretty impressive images of spaceships. Whilst none of them are what I would call perfect, it's very important to remember that Midjourney and AI image creation in general is still very early on in its life. It's also being worked on very hard with almost daily improvements. Anyway, here's a few more AI images of spaceships for you to look at. Absolutely marvelous, man. Look at that. Look at the definition. The colors. The textures. I love this. Wow. The detail. Wow. Wow. That's beautiful. Yeah, I love this. Listen, that's that's absolutely me. I love it. I love it. I love it. I'm I'm gonna look into this. I, I wrote it down now. Um, listen, if you guys are enjoying the content, uh, I'm gonna be consistently doing things like this. Uh, again, two one birds. I've learned with social media. I've learned with, with being a content influencer myself that I am 
consuming these contents and these forms of videos myself anyways and nothing will be more pleasurable than to record myself watching videos that i'm going to watch on my own free time right kill two birds one stone one of these videos might be something you guys may really like and then i'll create more of that content and whatnot but unfortunately we're not there and i'm just trying and pursuing anything uh that interests me already right and again if you like what interests you then that's cool but that's amazing i love it I love it. That's that's absolutely amazing. Uh, guys, make sure you guys are following for more. I'll catch you guys on the other side. Um, I have fun. I'm actually going to really look into it. I'm really excited right now. Uh, yeah, I'm really excited. Like I'm about to go draw something. It's good. I love it. I love it. To all you guys, remember, guys, at the end of the day, guys, I don't know what the fuck we're talking about. It's not until you do the possible research for yourself. Until then, simple humans, remember, simplicity is key. Don't complicate it. Life is easy. All right? Peace, love, and I hope all you guys enjoy the rest of your day.